Hey everybody, it's um it's Allison and for those of you who know me at all know that I am an animal lover for sure. Um and I get home and I see the news that Ugga Seven has passed away and it just it makes me sad. Um but I just wanted to read this for those who may not have heard or may not have read this. Um and this is on georgiadogs.com. Um, August 7 passes away unexpectedly Thursday in Savannah. Um, August 7, the legendary Georgia mascot who roamed the sidelines at Bulldog football games, died unexpectedly Thursday morning in Savannah. He died of heart-related causes, according to owner Frank Sonny Seller. Um, he was four years old and um, finishing his second season as the team's mascot. His given name was Lawrence Best, and his first game was August the 30th, 2008, versus Georgia Southern. We are all in a state of shock, said Seller. We had no warning whatsoever. There will be no live mascot at Georgia's game on Saturday, but a wreath will be placed on um, August 7th's doghouse on the north sideline. He was 10-3 and three last year, which is not bad for a freshman, said Seller. August 7 was not as active or mischievous as his father, but more distinguished. He realized his role when he put his shirt on. He was well behaved and always appreciated the significance of his role. This is a very sad day for the Seller family, but also for all Georgia people, said Damon Evans, UGA Director of Athletics. Just as his ancestors, he has, he has captured the hearts of college football fans everywhere as the country's number one mascot. He had he had truly um, embraced has been embraced by all those who follow the Georgia Bulldogs across the country. We will miss him dearly. Um, I mean, it just it just makes me sad. I just it's just a shock to me, and I know a lot of people won't understand that, you know, because he wasn't my dog or whatever. But um, it's just a very sad thing, especially because it was very su uh, a very sudden thing and. Um, and we're going to the game, and I know that'll be that'll be sad. Um, but I did want to say that I am appalled at some people um, over here on um, on the Dog Grant um, message board. People are just saying just horrible things, horrible that, things. I think I'm um, and joking around about it, and just saying, you know, I hope he takes Coach Mark Rick with him, and. Um, you know, I'm, I'm laughing because of this. It has my shoe and knows <laughs> that I'm making a video and I'm not going to stop him. But anyway, um, you know, I just think that's horrible for people to do that. I mean, you know, yes, it's a dog. But to some people like me, dogs are more than just dogs. I mean, they're family members. Um, they're like children. I mean, things like that. And then just because you don't understand that doesn't mean you have to be a jerk and, and come on here and say stuff like, you know, just disrespectful things. And I am, I am very, very upset about that because that just shows me what kind of person you are. And I've always said that I don't really trust people who don't, don't like animals. I just, I don't. And I know that may sound harsh, but, but I don't. I don't, and I don't know, I mean, it's okay if something had happened to people in their past or something like that, and they're scared of animals, but just to say this, these really horrible things that I'm not going to even read to you um, just makes me sick. It makes me very sick, and it's not just one. It just, it just seems like some of these other people are just like saying all this stuff, and I just think it's, I think it's horrible. So you, you, you guys on this, you know, dog rant need to take a look and see, you know, look, take a look at yourself and see exactly, you know, what kind of person you are to be doing that. And especially to say, to, to take another person with them, that's just insane. But anyway, I, for one, am, am sad about it. And he will be greatly missed. And, you know, I guess that's all I have to say. So, um... Go dogs.